Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our challenge runs. Uh, this time, after going through all of the animals, I figured, you know what, might as well do some extravagant. And I therefore started to hunt creepers. Uh, creepers are notoriously difficult to uh, pacify, so to speak, and it took me really a while for not only getting level 14 creepers, but also making sure that these creepers are not just our slaves, but our regular um, comrades. And I figured we might uh, just spice it up a little bit by also pick, uh, picking a couple of snow creepers. So we do have essentially the normal creepers, which um, can uh, cannibalize enemies and heal themselves as long as uh, the enemy doesn't have armor and we do have the snow creepers which uh, deal 15% of the health to adjacent uh, units with their icy breath ability very nasty ability if the enemy packs huge amounts of hit points both together might uh, be an interesting combination so the uh, free, uh, frozen or snow creepers have uh, freezing claw strike which creates uh, slowdown so if we combine that with a hit and run tactic I'm not 100% sure how yet but we might be able to do that uh, then we uh, can potentially uh, even um, start to kite enemies Creepers and um, the snow creepers are actual uh, creatures, so I think I can teach them skills. So let me go ahead and do that um, before we're actually engaging. They don't have any equipment, so it's really just up to us and our buffs. As you can imagine, we buffed ourselves up uh, the ante. We got uh, plus strength, we got plus dexterity, we got plus constitution. Um, we got plus critical hit um, and critical uh, hit chance. So it's as good as it gets with uh, high level creepers. Um, the problem with both of them is one of the creepers wants to uh, start in fog, which we don't have. The other one wants to start in darkness, uh, darkness, which we also don't have. So the moment that they don't have that, they have fragility. If they are in a set environment, they do have brutality. Uh, which is a very uh, negative trade-off, I'm afraid. But I figured uh, we haven't seen any action on the sea so far, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me give, ev give every uh, single one of them skills, and then we're going to do some sea adventures. Yarr! All right, so we learned uh, some uh, skills and migrated to Drombach. Uh, to get our typical first fight against five bears in. Let's see how well this uh, group is going to do against a moderately difficult encounter. Bears are coming in at level 12 uh, with a solid near 2000 hit points, so that's going to be fun. Um, we got the original creepers here. And we got the Snow Creepers, Ötzi and Regikren. Uh, I would say we're going to engage. Uh, let's move to here. For starters. Then the Freezing Claw hits him. Very good. He slowed down. We're weakening him. And I would like to not... Hmm, is Re Regican, uh tanking him? No, I think someone with a little bit more hit points like Rogart here is tanking him. But we can stay where we are and just end the turn. That'll bring the Frost Breath in. And look at that, 282 hit points. That is good. Should have positioned myself here. Anyways... Rogakin uh, comes in. We are biting. Thankfully, since the guy is already engaged, we're getting a critical hit. And let's tank with uh, Raug. <laughs> Whatever his name is. All right. Yeah, we're taking quite a bit of damage, but. 
we will be able to heal back up. Uh, Sinrat is the next one. I think if we can focus on two bears, that would be good. Sinrat hits, and we're weakening the bear. And there we go. Bear retaliates, but only hits 490. That's good. That's fantastic. Good. Second snow creeper. Uh, this bear will move up to en uh, to anyone in just a second. In the meantime, we're continuing to surround and hit this guy. We're of course not going to capture them. All right, end of turn. Sinrod is taking a lot of damage. I gave these guys wrath, but apparently that isn't really working out so well. Ertzi moves up here. I thought that we could trigger wrath just like that. Great hit. But apparently you can't. I'm not seeing it. Maybe because they don't have a weapon, but hmm, that's strange. Alright, ending here. Hitting that other bear for 200. I said crit, by the way. And unfortunately, we really don't get wrath. That is so unfortunate because we could double our DPS just by using that, right? Good. Attack maneuver. Does it kill? Do they count as animals? No. Apparently they don't. So see, if we're going here... We should be able to wrath kill the bear. Or is anything broken with wrath? A wrath. I didn't learn it on him. Should have done that. Anyways, unfortunate. Uh, bears are hitting quite a bit. Good. Let's see what we're dealing with. So we got this bear here, which means we need to break up so that he doesn't get multiple attacks, which is why I learned sprint. We're going to leech, hit for 500, and we're back to full. Thanks, uh, because uh, the deep bite ability uh, not only gets a, a guaranteed crit from behind, but also heals just as much uh, mm, hit points as it deals damage once you are hitting targets that have no armor which means this bear here needs to start right from anew and begins to hit yet again only for a few points of damage so these guys here can really uh, withstand the damage for a long time. So since we do have some extra time to spare, let's just hit this guy and hit him hard. Uh, 
unfortunately the snow creepers don't have that ability so and this guy here would deal does he have uh, inspiration yes but he does not have multiple attacks going well be it as it may which is going to take him off for a second first let's get a crit very nice 500 heals our uh, heals himself and we're weakening him for the first hit so that way Ragonaut can tank him they're actually not bad the whole creepers setup is not bad at all gets relentless gets berserk I like it good listen we're killing this guy here with a very solid hit for 630 just to get to here and deal damage to that bear another 280 good we need to keep the next bear engaged mm, very nice hit weakening him yeah, I think the team works I mean compared to everything but the bears this team here works very well. The bears themselves were, uh, when I did the challenge with the bears, they were of course a little bit more tanky. But the sheer amount of taunting, as you can switch around, is quite good. Plus, getting guaranteed uh, crits from behind is good, and having a life leech against the bears is good as well. We're definitely in a much stronger position. Good, we can simply stay here. Frost breath kills. There you go. Good job. Cool. First fight, short and sweet, 10 minutes, and we got ourselves... A commanding victory out of it I mean each and every one of them dealt a decent amount of damage specifically from behind like that uh, is four to six hundred points of damage but the real question is how will they uh, fare against uh, the bane of all of our fights the guards so we do have a numbers advantage on their side. The advantage with our creepers is they can actually use tools. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And if we're focusing on a few of their guys, oh, that's a lot of movement. we can position ourselves here right yes we can okay listen why not let's go uh, I thought we could use tools I stand corrected in battle you can apparently not use tools good time to grab the technician we're getting 280 points of damage in return oh, wow good can't withstand another big blow so I rather heal him up as and when time permits Of course, that means this technician, uh, tactician gets another free attack. It's 
bit catch 22 didn't want to lose anyone let's kill this guy that way he's at least gone and we are okay it's not great but we need to take out their high dps and that's mainly the lieutenants here and uh, the tacticians of course the front line is a bit of a problem as well move to here but the technician needs to die he's the one that hasn't suffered uh, that hasn't acted this turn and we're going to take a lot of damage in return right yeah i figured i figured as much but this time we're staying in battle never mind we're not we're actually not staying in battle But what we are doing is moving to here, dealing some damage to their uh, to their health pool. Fifty one is good. Shouldn't waste that. As per the usual, our biggest problem is their massive damage output versus our ability to sort of deal with that. Moving in, I'm trying to get that Felling Soldier next. Great hit. Immediately gets him to a non-armored state. And that's a kill. We're dealing a lot of damage. Like, that's not, not bad at all. Good. Lieutenants are going to be next, so I am purposefully engaging with one of them. How many reinforcement waves? Two, right? Yeah. Ouch. Lots of damage. Uh, they do have measured response feel like really fighting them this guy does not have measured response but so for starters beastmaster becomes orderly And we're healing for a little bit, as you can see, thanks to him not having hit points anymore. Uh, him not having armor anymore. Um, before we're then moving over here. Does their bite? No, it's only creating slowdown. It's not healing them. I can't take another attack of opportunity. This guy needs to die via our arrows. But what we can do is ignore their heaviest targets move to here engage this guy and hit both of them with the frost breath bam bam very nice now this is where the problem starts
We're going to heal up. There we go. Full hit points. Nice. Very good. Don't want to stand uh, too close. We might position ourselves down here. Actually down here because then I can shout for Valor. Yep, there is the extra hit points. That's... Oh, we're down to willpower. Not great. There's another uh, tactician. A little bit of healing. We're through his armor. And I'm just uh, offering us as a potential target here. It's good. That's a hit. This guy and some guy back there. Okay, cool. Um, I think both the captain and this tactician are really targets that we want to um, kill as soon as possible. Good. That was their leader gone. Unfortunately, no one here counts as an animal. So the Beastmaster is really useless in that uh, scenario. What we can do is we can stand, uh, stay here. It gives us a little bit of Valor since we're orderly. Okay, cool. Um... That'll be a potential kill. And full hit points for our creeper. Okay. We just need to juggle uh, that. The problem is... That's a very difficult ask. Let's see, gets hit. Reggie Ken already is taken down to one hit point, so we gotta protect these guys. Another tactician. Hmm. Yeah, moving him here would be suicidal. Can't do that. None of these guys have lost enough armor to really make it count. And the problem is the snow creepers aren't as they they are really good in just absorbing a few hits but they are not very good at uh, continuing to tank for a longer period of time unfortunately this here might be a target for the tactician to come in trying to burn some of these guys down Okay, that was an okay turn, but I think the Snow Creepers might fall soon. The 
Anomal Creepers, on the other hand, I think they are pretty sturdy. Great hit. Whilst we're at it. Just a little bit of healing here and there. Let's not cluster up because there are still hits coming. And let's not stay there. Let's stay here. That should block this guy from coming through. Willpower. Yep. Does he have measured response? No, he does not. Good, very much slowed it down. Moves to here. Tries to heal just a little bit. And we're moving over to here. Yes, the Frost Press could have dealt some damage, but I don't want to lose uh, too many of uh, the Snow Creepers. It's not worth it. We're already fighting at a disadvantage. I need every single person. The Creepers are keeping themselves surprisingly stable, I might say. Even though there are a couple of losses here and there, it's generally fine. I am surprised just how well they are doing. Specifically the self-healing, of course, against targets that do, that do not have armor is incredibly good. Alright, willpower here. We need to give Ragnold a chance. No. Okay, well, that is the first creeper falling down. Okay, but we're at the end of round two and we have only lost one so far. Granted, they very much overloaded uh, that uh, one side. Problem is, we're now going to see even more of the same. A lot of... A lot of damage that they are going to deal. That's one down. That's the best I can get at the moment. Yeah, we're fighting against 26. That's unfortunately a bit too much. Double attacks, of course, ignore the dying state. That's always handy for the enemies, uh, not so handy for us. Hamrat here will heal for a little bit thanks uh, to his ability to snatch this guy. Weakens him and maybe we can keep um, Ragot uh, up and running for a little bit longer. Hamrat here 
will at some point be overwhelmed. Luckily, he still had a few hit points left. Problem is, their utter lack of any other uh, survival skills, right? That's good. That'll keep us fresh and going for a bit longer. Need to closely think about whom to heal. This guy will uh, do a bit of a spin. And yeah, we only have two um, Vela points left over. Uh, that was not a great positioning to begin with. Good. One Valor point to rescuing this guy. That's two. That'll be two hits as well. Let's see, it's down to one hit point, right? So, whom do we really want to hurt? I think we can stay here. Start to engage. Reduce armor. Frost breath. That's another 150 points of damage. You can say what you want about um, snow creepers, but they are not bad. The frost breath is actually good. The normal creepers are a little bit better in terms of not dying, but like I said, even with all of the things that we're doing here. There's only so much you can really do, unfortunately, in a dying state. I think that was it. We're going to be overrun. Uh, there are still too many actions left over, but we killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is very much. Is that an eighth one? No, I think uh, we killed seven. But we gave them a good run for uh, for their money. I think if we could have had an option to kind of isolate some of the packs, say fight against five or six at a time and then another five or six at a time, I think even at that uh, point the uh, creepers would have done reasonably speaking well. Their ability to heal themselves is in my perspective outshining those of the animals and upon reflection of uh, my animal challenges that i did i gave lizards kind of an a tier amongst uh, com uh, companions um, these guys here would also play solidly in uh, a tier lizards were a minus tier this year it feels like an a uh, solid a tier you can make it work is a uh, creeper only strategy valid potentially not and of course having fragility as a standard doesn't really help your case because you're taking more damage um, if you for whatever reason could find a way to teach them equipment uh, slots i would actually think that they make relatively good companions so an idea for a mod uh, could be to have uh, creepers and snow creepers and also sirens equip with um, or allow them equipment you you might need to craft it uh, so that it is specific equipment for them i do understand that takes a lot of uh, work to uh, to get it done but say if if they could get a baseline of just one coat of armor even if it is um, light armor uh, and they keep their normal attack they can't use weapons um, so the weapon oils would be gone but light armor uh, head and uh, and just normal torso that would already give them the uh, option to 
uh, to at least be a bit more uh, tanky. You can, in, in that scenario, get all the way up to... Let me even expand on that thought for a second. Maybe you allow them to use weapon oil on their claws, uh, only one weapon oil, and just theoretically speaking as a build, uh, you give them light armor and one uh, weapon oil. I think that's still very much balanced uh, and costs a lot of investment and they do have still fragility throughout uh, all of the uh, all of the time but you could get light armor which it uh, um, uh, the arcadian level in a three star uh, um, uh, mode gives you around 200 uh, um, armor um, you would be able to put uh, guard uh, um, sockets in so that you end up with 18 guard just with uh, the sockets and then you could uh, put the helm enchantment in for another 12. So that's 30% guard. And if you then give them in position um, oil, then they would double that each time. So 60% uh, guard. So you can make them reasonably tanky. And I think that their self-healing ability, the deep bites, uh, is uh, is going to work wonders in uh, in that case kind of comes back to uh, how you want to uh, play the game. I think um, if you give them, um, way, if there are options to gain way more constitution on these guys, then they would be competitive. The reason why the bears are so ultra competitive is they run around with uh, 2,600, 2,800 hit points and not with 380 fully buffed. So something to consider if you could even double the hit point pool with the normal damage that they are doing that might be a different uh, story that's it from my end uh, thank you so much for watching appreciate it uh, if you like uh, the war tales uh, challenges then uh, please uh, subscribe and leave a comment uh, down below see you in the next episodes guys bye bye